story begins. A child is born. He grows in humanity. He experiences happiness. He experiences sadness. He meets a girl.
No. Car keys? You don't want car keys. We want Kittle. Junior, you're a smart boy. I'm sure you'll one day find a way to have a cantaloupe of your very own. <laughs> a cantaloupe of my very own? Yes, here. Maybe this will help. The book she gave him changed his life. As soon as he was old enough to read it, that is. The science of cantaloupe farming. As the years went by, the protagonist learned all there was to know about cantaloupes. He memorized the book from one cover to the next, and by the time he was 17, he was ready to throw his own delicious melon. There, the soil was just set. And how to play my cantaloupe seed. Finally getting around to making your own melon, eh? Well, it won't taste as good as mine. You're wrong about that, old timer. It'll be 10 times better than your mangy vegetation. And you know why? Because I'm growing my cantaloupe with soil, compost, and the most important nutrient of all, love. <laughs> <laughs> And yet there are many variations of conflict with man versus man. There is something far worse than man versus farmer. Enter the new conflict, man versus father. Son! Son, I've got great news! What were you doing with that watering can? Uh, nothing. Son, you've been trying to grow cantaloupes again, haven't you? <laughs> How very disappointing. And here I thought you were ready to come work for me. As my partner, Dad, I don't want to go into the pumpkin business. <laughs> you love cantaloupes exclusively. Is that it? It is. And I've just planted my very first one. You disappoint me. When now you were younger, I wanted to put a stop to all this cantaloupe nonsense. No son of mine was going to be a fruity weirdo. But your mom said, it's just a phase. He'll grow out of it. <laughs> now look at you, rejecting the family business for this, this frivolous desire. Well, I'm putting a stop to it. I'm going to dig up that seed before it takes root, father. I love you. But if you touch my cantaloupe garden, I will never speak to you again. So that's it, huh? You would choose a fruit over the wishes of your own family. I'm growing this melon, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Then I have no son! Oh. <laughs> Dad? Fine! I don't need you! I don't need anyone. Right, little seed? Don't mind us humans as we argue over petty things. You just rest and grow. Months passed by without contact with his family. Until... Mama? I brought you a blanket. Are you sure you don't want to come back in the house? I'm so damn busy. She decides Junior, your father and I are moving. Moving? To where? Pumpkinville. <laughs> when? Five minutes. Your father says he's leaving and never coming back, and that we're never going to see you again. <laughs> My cantaloupe, it's sprouting! Oh, Junior, your dreams are finally coming true. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Goodbye, my sweet baby boy. Wait, wait. Mom, don't leave. I can come with you. Goodbye, Mom. Don't worry, little seed. We'll make it somehow. Now that you're growing, that's all that I need. Nothing will hinder us now. As the protagonist tended his garden, the elements fought against him. Man versus rain. Man versus wind. Man versus light. Ow. Man versus extreme temperature. Oh, poor little seed. It's so hot. At least it's a dry seed. Man versus humidity. <laughs> Man
man versus mosquitoes. Man versus killer bees. Oh, come on! Man versus extreme cold. Oh. Don't worry, little seed. I'll protect you from the frost. Months of struggling passed by. Then the day arrived. The day he thought all his hopes and dreams had finally come true. My cantaloupe, you're here. You're finally here. Now at long last, I can partake in your deliciousness. All I need now is a melon baller. <laughs> <laughs> but then he encountered something greater than all the forces of nature. Man versus woman. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why are you looking at me that way? Because I see a man who is no longer a boy and captivated by the sight of him. As I look at your rain-drenched clothes, I can feel the storm to go weather all alone. And it makes me want to end your loneliness. As I look at the dirt caked into the palms of your hands, I can feel the struggle you've undergone, the struggle to create beauty, and I long to join you in your struggles. As I look into your eyes, I can feel them searching, <laughs> searching for love, gazing endlessly, oh what, that I can end your search. As I look at you, I think you're pretty. <laughs> I too find you attractive. How long have you been tending this garden? Almost nine months. That shows that you're not afraid of commitment, that you're earnest and faithful. <laughs> and why have you been struggling so? To bring life into this world. You'll make a great father someday. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Do you really think I'm pretty? More than pretty. Beautiful. I, I love you. <laughs> and I love you. Will you be my wife? I will share everything in the world with you, even when I hold dearest to me. Yes, my soulmate, yes. Let's <coughs> run away and be with each other forever and ever. And... <laughs> Except you'll have to drop the melon. I'm allergic. My cantaloupe? But I... <laughs> it's me or the melon. Your choice. <laughs> I can see you need time to think. I'll be over here, thinking <laughs> romantic thoughts about our honeymoon. <laughs> Man versus self. But, but I haven't even tasted it yet. Don't take too long. Just a moment, my darling one. Maybe just one bite. And don't get cantaloupe on your lips. I don't want to break out in eyes. <laughs> Bye. I'm sorry I had to end this way. I can't leave you! <laughs> oh, lover boy, I'm waiting. <laughs> Two, 
I've never seen such a fast and virile grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Who owns this? That would be me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> my love. My soulmate. Come back. Uh, person? How could I ever think of abandoning you? Can you ever forgive me? Young man! Do not touch that abomination! Why? Because it is cursed! Man, first is supernatural. <laughs> cursed? That's, that's more possible. Cursed it is indeed. I can see it with my third eye. <laughs> Have it. And a fourth nipple, but I don't like to cry. If it is danger coming from this cantaloupe, dark or as cast, all who touch it are doomed, doomed to a life of unnatural agony and unspeakable shame. <laughs> but I've already touched it. I'm already doomed. Please, you have to help me. Can't you do something to remove the curse? Oh, man versus con artist. <laughs> Give me $50. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. The curse is reversed. Exactly what do you mean? When it was cursed, this melon hated you. It wanted to destroy you. But now I have reversed the spell. Now it loves you. Thanks for your money. <laughs> it loves me? That's ridiculous. It's just an inanimate object. Sure, it might be the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> but it can't possess feelings. It can't love me back, or can it? Man versus self, yet again. What am I doing? Snap out of it! Ugh. I'm lonely and empathetic, but I'm not insane. I'm not falling in love with my cantaloupe. <laughs> I am not falling in love with my cantaloupe. I have no feelings for this cantaloupe in any way, shape, or form. I am not falling in love. Oh, who am I kidding? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, you also constitute part of society. As you can see on stage, our protagonist is falling deeply in love with his cantaloupe. This is something that should shock and mortify all those of decent moral sensibility. So as a society, we must fight against this abnormality. If you will please join me, raise your hand, point your finger at the protagonist, and prepare to self-righteously waggle that finger as we chant. Shame on you! 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 Don't judge us just because you don't understand us. <laughs> We're both consenting things. If we want to be together, and we don't bother any humans or vegetables, why should you do that? If we love each other, why should you stand in our way? And if we want to join each other in holy matrimony, as man and melon, what of it? Who dares to stop us? I do! Forsake your unnatural desires. <laughs>
and cast away that cantaloupe. I... I... Do what he says, Junior! I won't do it! It's my cantaloupe and I love it more than anything. I won't give it up. Really? <laughs> yes, really. You would defy the Greek god Zeus. Aren't you just mythology? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. It's just, I refuse to give up the most beautiful thing of my life. Very well. And what if, instead of commanding you to change your ways, I offered you a trade? What do you mean? What kind of trade? Let's see what after my god back. <laughs> <laughs> Would you trade that kid's loop for? Good health? No. How about world peace? Nope. <laughs> Care for cancer? Nope. <laughs> Eternal happiness? I've already found it. Car keys? <laughs> <laughs> I've made my decision. I am not giving away my cantaloupe. So be it. Let the world forever know that thou art a weirdo. <laughs> and as such, you shall forever wander alone without a friend in the world, with the exception of your cantaloupe. To all those who obey my words, speak no words of disdain or compassion to this man. Depart and leave him to his own fate. Hello. <laughs> Mom, you're not leaving me, are you? <clears throat> Just because of what Zeus said? I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, aren't you going to at least say goodbye? Will you take me back to my seat? <laughs> Won't you at least look at me? Mom! <laughs> Tell me when it's over. <laughs> and so the protagonist gained the object of his desire, but lost all else in the process. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Don't act like this is a tragic ending. It's a happy one. I have done it. I overcame every obstacle. I have survived all you have done. I have endured every conflict there is. Almost every conflict. We forgot about one. What? Man. Versus narrator. My cantaloupe. <laughs> it was my whole world. And so, with the object of, of his desire obliterated. The conflict evaporates, and the resolution can begin. Our protagonist can see more clearly, and he experiences an epiphany. Well, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps you learned something a bit more uplifting and constructive? Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't be so single-minded. Maybe there's more to life than just cantaloupes. Or, or perhaps you would be too consumed by tragedy. <laughs> and instead of leaving a lesson, he will become overwhelmed by grief. I'm a widower! <laughs> As he gazes into the remains of his beloved, his heart suddenly grows old. Older. Older. And dies. Of a broken heart, we can end the story here. Draw the curtains and raise the house lights. Or we can speak to the next day, when the people found them. They scratched their heads. Though the townsfolk never understood the protagonist, they knew how he would want to be laid to rest. They dug a hole and buried him with the remains of his beloved in his arms. Within the grave, the body of the man and the seed of the melon mingled, and the protagonist and the object of his, of his desire became one. And the next spring, the roots took hold, and up from the ground sprouted a cantaloupe tree. <laughs> but cantaloupes don't grow on trees. 
And that's what makes it such a beautiful ending. <laughs> the end. <laughs>